everyone, welcome back to Kiri Yoga. So we're just going to do a couple of uh, short pelvic stretches today to relax the pelvis and the lower back. So when you're ready, just coming down onto your back. You might like a rolled up towel or blanket or bolster nearby. So this is just going to be a short 10 minute sequence and we're going to move through a few of these poses. We'll start with our cradle position, bringing the knees into the chest, wrapping the arms around the knees. You can clasp the hands together and tighten the hands as much or as little as you like. You might like the knees together or slightly apart, having the feet touching and softening down on the exhale. Feeling the back supported by the mat. Breathing here. Softening down through the pelvic floor. You can slow down this class as much as you like. You can pause on each stretch and stay there for a little longer. And we're going to move to happy baby next. So bringing the knees out wide, soles of the feet towards the floor. You can grab for the outside of the feet or you might want to grab the ankles, the shins, or wrapping the arms behind the knees. Softening down here, breathing. We're opening through the hips here. Making sure your head, neck and shoulders are supported by the mat and that they're not coming up. And if they are, just maybe backing off, coming out of the pose a little bit, taking one of the other options. And when you're ready, just bringing your feet back down onto the mat. We're gonna move through some windscreen wipers. Just dropping the knees over to the left and then the right. Pausing at the bottom on each side, just briefly. And then with our feet hip width apart, we're gonna come into our figure four pose. So our right ankle comes on top of our left knee. We're pushing that right knee away and we're staying here if that feels okay. Or you can draw the left knee in, clasp the hands behind the left knee, staying here. Or you might like even more stretch, bringing the hands in front of the left knee, making sure that the right knee is still drawing away from the body. Feeling the stretch here through the hips, Inhaling and exhaling. And coming back out, bringing the left ankle on top of the right knee. Staying here or coming into any of the other options. Noticing if one hip is feeling tighter than the other. Exhaling, coming back out, unraveling, and just a couple more windscreen wipers.
breathing here and then rolling onto your side we'll just come up through a couple of seated positions so bringing the legs out long coming onto the sit bones you might want to bring your prop onto your legs and inhaling here exhaling folding forward rounding the back tucking the chin slightly you can stay more upright or you can bring your forehead down onto the prop or further down towards your knees again staying here pausing the video if you'd like to be here a little longer otherwise drawing the soles of the feet together knees out wide into our seated butterfly pose the closer the heels are to the body the more stretch we're going to feel in the groin and the inner thighs if you want less stretch bring the heels further away from the body into more of a diamond shape with the legs and you can also prop underneath the knees and that will decrease the stretch so you can stay here upright you can fold forward maybe wrapping the hands around the feet or bringing the hands down onto the mat rounding the back tucking the chin breathing here inhaling coming back up we're just gonna come down onto our back again and move into a lying butterfly so same thing with the legs we're just lying down on our back this time so you might feel the stretch in the slightly different points in the inner thigh and the groin maybe you're feeling the opening of the hips here try to soften down through the pelvic floor and the lower back breathing here this is quite a strong pose so propping under the knees or moving the heels further away from the body and when you're ready bringing the hands underneath the knees drawing the knees in together and we're going to move into our final pose in this quick sequence so bringing the knees in towards the chest again and then just dropping them over to the left we're coming into a spinal twist here looking over to the right if that feels okay for the neck and softening down the gaze or closing the eyes if that feels comfortable breathing here try to soften down through the legs and the hips just be here for a couple more breaths when you're ready drawing the knees over to the other side so dropping the knees over to the right arms out in t-shape looking over to the left hand soft gaze or closing down the eyes softening down through the hips and the legs you can prop underneath the knees as well as if you like to decrease the stretch breathing here
And when you're ready, we'll just finish with rest in Shavasana. So slowly unraveling, bringing that prop underneath the knees and we'll have a supported version of our Shavasana, of our resting pose. Lying down on your back, maybe having something over your eyes if you like, closing down the eyes or soft gaze. Have your hands on your belly or down by your side. Breathing here. And you can stay here for as long as you like. You can pause the video and just breathe here for another five or 10 minutes if you want some extra rest. Otherwise, when you're ready, just coming onto your side. Breathing here and slowly transitioning to coming to sit up again. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you again soon.